another big splash in Phoenix. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be back with you in New York on the Sports Update presented by Toyota. First, the giant surprise win over the Patriots in Glendale. Now a surprise trade for the Suns. Shaquille O'Neal Wednesday in Phoenix to take a physical, one in which if he passes, he'll become a member of the team. Suns agreeing to trade with Miami that brings Shaq to the desert for Sean Marion and Marcus Banks. The 35-year-old center said he was a little shocked at first, but happy to make the move. Now remember, Shaq has been sitting out with various injuries, but is back out west and in big part, a reaction to his old team, the Lakers, making the deal for Paul Gasol, and he looked great in his L.A. debut. A double-double, 24 points and the 12 rebounds and a 15-point win in New Jersey. That despite just six points from Kobe Bryant, who dislocated a finger but returned to the game. Kobe no longer has to be the go-to guy every single night, and Gasol showed it. Time for the fifth highest scoring total in a Lakers debut. Meanwhile, it's the time of year for the world to focus on the state of North Carolina. Blue Devils, Tar Heels, first time this season later tonight. But UNC coach Roy Williams saying starting point guard Ty Lawson doubtful for the game. He has an ankle injury that he suffered in overtime in the win against Florida State on Sunday. Remember, the team already short at point guard with Bobby Fraser out for the season. Bobby Knight is done for the season, resigned Monday, and now the Red Raiders trying to move on. Texas Tech tonight plays its first game without the winningest coach in men's Division I history and his son taking over. Pat Knight making his debut at Baylor. Think back to Steve Spagnuolo's debut for the Giants this season. 45 points allowed for his defense in week one as the defensive coordinator in Dallas. Now think about his latest accomplishment, holding the highest scoring team in NFL history to just 14 points. All part of the reason Tuesday he interviewed with Redskins owner Daniel Snyder for the vacancy. More on that to come later this week. Time for the Wits hits. Like Jim Caldwell in Indianapolis, Jim Mora Jr., an assistant in Seattle, guaranteed to be the new head coach when the Seahawks' current coach finishes. Signed a five-year extension, including the provision to replace Mike Holmgren. UConn's women's team no longer undefeated. Number one falling 73-71 at seventh-ranked Rutgers just hours after the Giants celebrated their title at the Meadowlands. And college is on the mind of many high school kids all day. National signing day for football players, but the top recruit in the nation, according to many scouting sources, that's Terrell Pryor, told the Pittsburgh Tribune Review that he won't sign a letter of intent on Wednesday. He still hasn't decided between Michigan, Ohio State, and Penn State. And one of last year's big recruits, Ryan Mallett, who signed at Michigan and has since decided to transfer, has asked for a waiver to play at Arkansas in 2008, not have to sit out a year. Something the NCAA really hasn't ruled on before would be a huge deal if it goes through. The mallet saying there are extenuating circumstances. That's why there's a reason for the request. So follow all the signings here today on CBSSports.com and all the other news. That's it for your sports update presented by Toyota. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.